for all of your time today and for your service. Um, I, as well as my colleagues, have been deeply disturbed by the recent revelations of egregious misconduct at VA medical facilities. And I know that the Department of Justice continues to consult with the Veteran Affairs Office of the Inspector General on their review. And at this point, um, they are looking at 69 um, VA facilities. Um, I, wanted, I, I wanted to understand kind of what do you think they're, you're going to look more broadly, given that there are other facilities engaged beyond the Phoenix um, issues? And is there a greater role you expect the FBI to play or other resources you think that are important as we continue this investigation? Well, thank you for the question. It's not something that I can answer uh, at this point, and I don't think I would answer anyway about a criminal investigation. We will follow it wherever the facts take us. The Phoenix office is where we've opened it because that was the, the primary locus of the original allegations. We're working it with the, uh, the VA IG, and we'll follow it wherever the facts take us. Okay, thank you. This is a very, very important issue, so thank you for your work there. Um, last month, the White House released the findings of its Big Data and Privacy Working Group review, and one of the recommendations made by their report was that Congress should amend the Electronic Communications Privacy Act, what we call ECPA. Um, to ensure that the level of protection for online digital content is consistent with that provided to physical materials. Um, but ECPA was written in a time before email and cloud computing have changed the way we live and work, and our current law affords more protections for a letter in a filing cabinet than email on a server. So I was pleased that the administration has recognized that the, this law has been very outdated, and I wanted to ask whether you agree that we need to update um, ECPA and that policy. My sense is uh, that the administration has communicated that, as you said. We treat it, uh, there is an outdated distinction. For email over 180 days, I think under the 1980s statute is treated as something that you could, in theory, obtain without a search warrant. We don't treat it that way. We go get a search warrant from a federal judge, no matter how old it is. So it, a change won't have any effect on our practice, but I've, I've heard the concern, which makes sense to me. No, I, I think it's very important. We actually have a bill called the Email Privacy Act um, H.R. 1852, and it would make meaningful updates to the Electronic Communications Privacy Act to address this issue um, to acquire, um, require law enforcement to obtain a warrant in order to gain access to the contents of email or documents, pictures, and other information that have been stored in the cloud. And this bill already has 216 co-sponsors, something I think very important to keep our laws up to date in this area. Um, I also wanted to echo concerns raised by my colleagues about the Bureau's work to deal with human trafficking. Um, these are horrendous crimes. In Washington State, we've seen uh, operations cross country through the Innocence Lost Initiative, recovered juveniles and young adults being victimized through prostitution, and that's commendable work. But we haven't made in, inroads yet in how to make a dent in internet facilitated trafficking of children on websites like Backpage and others. Um, the prevalence is very staggering, and human costs here are truly unspeakable when this activity is allowed to continue. So are there tools that the FBI can use to combat online trafficking of children, and what are the challenges that you face in, um, in prosecuting these cases of trafficking, and what can we do to, to help that? Well, I, a huge part of what we do to try and protect and rescue kids is through investigations online. So I've got people all over the country doing that as we speak. Uh, one of our challenges is uh, the increased use of encryption and anonymizers online, especially the people who would harm children. And so sometimes folks of goodwill say, isn't it terrible that the government wants to be able to break encryption or, or find identities on the internet? No, it's not. Uh, with lawful authority and, and, uh, and the involvement of a court, I need to be able to do that. Uh, but it's a technical challenge for us that is increasingly difficult. Uh, so that's something that we're working on. Uh, the back page issue is a challenging one because there are certain uh, um, First Amendment issues that may be implicated by some of these publications online. Uh, but I, I don't want to say more about it at this point than that. Okay. Um, thank you. And thank you for your time. I yield back, you, Mr. Chair. The gentlelady yields back. Uh, the Chair would now recognize.